New this morning, it is something we likely see every day, sunrises and sunsets, but how much do we know about them? First Alert meteorologist Brian Bachman is giving us a closer look in today's moment of science. Sunrise, sunset, time for reflection, contemplation, or just trying to avoid being blinded while driving home after work. We see thousands of them in our lifetimes, but that bright ball in the sky is always worth a closer look. You probably know that the sun only rises and sets from our perspective here on Earth. The sun's position is fixed as the center of our solar system, and with Earth's rotation, first light comes from the east with dusk to the west. North of the tropics, the sun always rises to the right and sets to the right when you are facing it, never completely vertical. Movies and TV shows will sometimes cheat and film a sunset in reverse to make a sunrise, but the leftward jog always gives it away. When the sun is low on the horizon, that light is traveling through more atmosphere than if it were at high noon directly overhead. The sky is generally blue at midday because atmospheric molecules like nitrogen and oxygen scatter and separate blue light before it reaches our eyes on the ground. Blue is a shorter wavelength than red or orange, so when that gets scattered, that leaves warmer colors behind as the visible light that reaches us for a stunning sunrise or sunset. It's been thought that dust particles at lower levels enhance dawn and dusk, but because those particles are much bigger than molecules like oxygen, the chances of scattering are a bit lower, which can dull the vivid reds into softer yellows. Overall, your best bet for a great show is simply a low sun angle and clearer air. Summer tends to have more stagnant, hazy air than winter, so it's usually a better time of year for snapping a solid sunset photo. Cirrus clouds have a particular knack for putting a nice accent on those warmer hues. High clouds in the Cirrus family tend to put on a more vivid show, but even low cumulus clouds can do it, especially in the cleaner air of the tropics. As long as the Earth keeps spinning, sunrises and sunsets will remain a constant in our lives. Whether breaking out the camera or simply taking a few minutes to reflect, they're always worth taking a look. That's your moment of science for this week. I'm Brian Bachman.